Final Cut Pro 11.2 just released. This update is definitely focused on the new features coming with the iPhone 17. It is pretty minor, but I'm always excited to see updates for my favorite video editing software. The first and most exciting part of this update that's not even in the release notes. Final Cut Pro has a new app icon and you can see it right here now in line with macOS Tahoe. Secondly, in this release, it unlocks even more controls for ProRes RAW video shooting on iPhone, so now you can adjust exposure, color temperature, tint, and demosaicing all from Final Cut Pro. I personally don't have access to an iPhone 17 Pro, so I'm unable to show it to you, but I imagine filming in ProRes RAW looks something like this. Next, you can edit and play back your Apple Log 2 footage with the vibrancy of the original scene by applying the Apple Log 2 LUT. So I imagine they looked at the previous version of the Apple Log LUT and made some improvements. It definitely always felt a little desaturated for my liking, so I'm glad to see that they've maybe added some more vibrancy there. This next update also fixes an issue that caused recordings made with the voiceover tool to not be saved when media storage was set to a location outside the library. I personally never ran into this issue, but I also didn't set up my libraries in this way. So if you ran into this problem, you're probably excited to see that that's been addressed. It also improves stability when adjusting sliders in the ProRes RAW settings window. So obviously ProRes RAW is more accessible than ever, so it looks like they're really trying to fix things under the hood and get it working as good as possible. Next, it fixes an issue that caused Final Cut Pro to quit when red raw clips were selected in the timeline while the red raw settings window was open. This definitely sounds like a relatively niche problem. I personally don't use a lot of red raw footage, but my brother does, so I imagine he's probably kind of excited right now. Shout out Taylor. Next, they are removing support for Firewire connected devices on macOS Tahoe. Firewire. Now that is a term I have not heard in a long time. I probably haven't used Firewire in 16, 17 years, maybe even more. If you are using Firewire for your workflow, you may want to hold off on updating further. And lastly, it includes stability and performance improvements. I wish Apple would get a little bit more granular on what these stability and performance improvements are, but it is nice to know that they're taking a look at the stuff under the hood. Are you going to be picking up the iPhone 17 Pro so you can do ProRes RAW and Final Cut Pro? I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. If I'm eventually able to get access to an iPhone 17 Pro, I will definitely be doing some workflow breakdowns on editing ProRes RAW and working with the new Apple Log 2 LUTs. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel. I hope you are having the best of days. With that being said, I cannot wait to see you in the next one.